Hey guys, this is Moda the Cuisine, and today I'm back with another video showcasing mod for Warhammer 3. And I'm back with the Radius mod. As some of you may already know that another part for this mod was released, adding new units for Chaos Factions, which is Chrome, Slanesh, Zinch, and Nurgle. And a couple of months ago I did the video about Grand Cate, Kislev, and Ogre Kingdoms. And today I'm going to be covering the Chrome faction. Just from my personal point of view, I think uh, Radius Total War mod is the best uh, unit mod that you can get. Covers many other Total War games and adds a huge variety of different kinds of units that I think uh, lots of factions were lacking. And just keep in mind, there are four parts to this mod. So in order for them to work, you have to download all of them and make sure they're activated all at the same time. And let's see what units does this mod adds to Chrome Faction. And here we are on this fine day. We are in charge of this amazing new units of the Chrome Faction. A really good looking unit. Some of them are very powerful, have really cool skins to it and the new unit cards. And the first units I'm gonna show you guys for the Chrome Faction is gonna be Marauders of Chrome. There are a few different variants of this unit. The first one with shields. As you can see, it's tier 1. Has really good stats for a tier 1 unit. In terms of ability, it got one ability called Rage, which has three phases to it. And it got the spell resistance of 10%. The anti-large version of this unit is Marauders of Crone with Spears. As the most anti-large units, it get the charge reflection. And as all uh, Marauders of Crone units, it get the ability Rage and spell resistance of 10%. And this is the armor piercing version of the Mar Marauder Sukron, who is using great weapons. Same as previous units, it got the same ability and the same spell resistance and very good stats. What I like about the Radius mod that adds the different kinds of units that the unit roster of the vanilla game was lacking. And here we have Marauders of Crone with Strowing Axis. This is the best Crone faction can get for the missile unit. Very nice stats for tier 1 unit. Got the same abilities as other Marauders of Crone, plus the spell resistance of 10%. The good thing about this unit, it can throw its axis, which is armor piercing, and also got the shield breaker. And they're best to be used against enemy infantry. And for next units, we got the Berserkers of Crone, three versions of it. The first one is dual weapons. As all other dual weapons units, it's best used against enemy infantry. And all Berserkers of Crone units get the abilities the Vanguard Deployment, Strider, Berserker, the Frenzy, the spell resistance of 15%, and they can cause fear. Here's the shield version of the Berserkers of Crone. As you guys can see, it also armor piercing, has all the abilities from the previous unit and has silver shields. And here is the great weapons version of the Berserkers of Crone, which has the armor sundering ability for the melee attacks. And they have a great weapons, which is armor piercing. And like the previous units, it got all, this, all the abilities of Berserkers of Crone. And now we got the three new units for Faction of Crone called Aspiring Champions of Crone. This one is, has shields. As all the Aspiring Champions of Crone, their melee attacks does magical damage and they have the Disrupted ability. As for their passive abilities, Aspiring Champion units has a mean psychology and has the Rage ability and the spell resistance of 25%. Here is the version of the Sparring Champions of Kron with dual weapons, the anti-infantry version. Have all the same abilities as the previous unit, the only difference is this one is best used against anti-infantry. And the last version of the Sparring Champions of Kron has Halberds, that's basically your anti-large variant. They have charged defense against all, and I just want to ask you guys, just take a moment and just Take a look how beautiful this new units look. As some of you guys know from lore, some Beastman units were serving the Chrome faction as well. And here we got the Corn Gores. Two versions of this unit. The first one with shields. They have armor piercing weapon, flaming attacks on their melee, which also gives them burnt ability. 
They have perfect vigor, primal fury, berserker, two resistances, one from fire, 25%, and one from, and one from spells, which for 15%, and they also cause fear. And here's their second version with dual weapons, same flaming attacks, and same abilities as the previous version. And for the last choice of the infantry units from this mod, we have Chosen of Crone, three variants, this one with shields, has magical damage on their melee attacks, also disrupted ability, their axes are armor piercing, they cause fear, have a spell resistance of 35%, they also got the frenzy ability, and they have perfect vigor. Their second version, with halberds, is basically your anti-large version. They have the same good stuff as all Chosen of Crone units, charge defense all, and the most important, they look very sick. And for the last infantry unit, we have the Chosen of Crone with great swords, Hellblade, which activates uh, whenever they do more than 80 kills. Amazing looking units. And with this mod, we are getting a bunch of new cavalry units for Crone. The first one is Raiders of Crone. They're tier 1. As you guys can see, very nice stats for tier 1 unit. They got the ability Rage and the spell resistance of 10%. Best be put against enemy infantry. And I'm sure they can do well against other factions, tier 1 cavalry units as well. And we got the few new units of Knights of Crone. This one with swords. Amazing melee cavalry with silver shields. They have got the discourage ability for their melee attacks. They have the bonus versus infantry, rage, spell resistance of 25%, and they cause fear. Here we got their second version with lances, basically all the same abilities as the previous version. The only different this one has a the only different this one has a massive charge bonus, and its bonus versus large due to its lances. Another two new cavalry units called Knights of the Burning Rage. This one uses axes. Therefore, their armor piercing, they got the magical and flaming damage on their melee attacks, also the burnt ability. For their passive, they have the ability called Strider, they have immune psychology, got frenzy, got two resistances, one is fire resistance and one is spell resistance, and this unit causing fear. Their second version, the anti-large version using lances, basically all the same abilities, because it's considered as a shock cavalry, has a massive charge bonus. Amazing units that can wreck lots of kills. And here we got the nice looking trolls called Blood Trolls. It's tier 2 unit, decent stats for a troll unit. Be Keep in mind all trolls have poor leadership, but they also got regeneration. Has a Sundering Armor and melee attacks, also it's armor piercing. Because it's trolls, it causes fear as a spell resistance got the frenzy ability and can be used as a siege attacker. Some ogres don't mind serving the blood god, so therefore we're getting two new units. First one is ogre berserkers with dual weapons. That's your anti-infantry monstrous infantry, which got the magical damage on its melee attack, causes fear, got two resistances, has the ability berserker, an ogre charge, also can be used as a wall breaker. Nice unit to wreck some kills. Here we got their second version with great weapons. This one's considered it's large. Also as the previous one has the magical damage and all the same passive abilities from the previous version. Here we got the bloodied mammoth, your typical war mammoth unit, which got the discouraged ability for its melee attacks, its armor piercing and best used against enemy infantry causes stir and fear, got two resistances, because it has the war shrine on its back, it encourages other units, and got the active ability and rage, and can be used as a siege attacker. And with this mod, we're getting the new lord called the Wrathcaller. I decided to put him on a mount, in this case a war mammoth, but there is an option for him to use a horse. As you guys can see, for his melee attacks, he, he deals magical damage and got the ability disrupted. Got few abilities for his own. 
First one is reveal in slaughter. Second one, the gaze of chrome. Third one, unleash the inner beast. Fourth one, the locus of uh, wrath. Fifth one, the locus of abjuration. And the basic abilities as a deadly onslaught and the foe seeker. And that was all the new units for the Chrome faction that's been added with the Radius mod. As we see here, a huge difference of how many new units been added to this faction. As far as I know, the vanilla had the miserable amount of units that you could play as a Chrome. And now this mod has to offer us different kinds of variations for different purposes. That definitely makes the next gameplay much more interesting. And also the Radium mod not only adds new units and their new unit cards, but also replaces the vanilla ones. So it definitely looks better right now. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you guys try them and if you guys like them. As I said before, the Radius mod usually goes on my top list for the mod load order and everything else just goes below it. It was more that because you guys. I hope you guys have a nice day.